Now, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of the legendary Nichelle Nichols. Been a legend in the entertainment industry with a remarkable career spanning over five decades. Her incredible talent and beauty have made her a household name and inspired countless generations of women around the world. We're gonna take a closer look at the trailblazing accomplishments of this iconic actress, singer, and dancer and learn about the various ways she left her mark on pop culture. But there are some juicy details that we are gonna get into to also with one of them being her crazy connections to the heaven's gate cult if you haven't heard of this cult by now i am going to explain what it was we're gonna get into that and more but first hey friend welcome to my channel Kareen allude where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars through history if you're not yet subscribed please be sure to do so and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload Starting with her accolades, Nichelle Nichols has won numerous awards throughout her career, including an Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series for her role in Star Trek, the Original Series, a Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress on Television, and a special NASA Distinguished Public Service Medal for increasing awareness of space exploration and inspiring young people to pursue science careers. She was also inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1992, cementing her place among the stars of the entertainment industry. Aside from her impressive list of accomplishments in the world of acting, Nichols was also known for her iconic fashion sense and unique sense of style. In the earlier stages of her career, her signature look included a beautiful Afro hairstyle, bold statement jewelry, and colorful clothing that showcased her figure and highlighted her confident personality. She even designed some of her own costumes for her performances, further solidifying her status as a talented artist and creative force in the industry. And many of you guys may not know, but she was a singer and she did have two albums. And we're gonna get into that later into the video, but she had a very nice voice. When it comes to her hair and makeup impact on pop culture, Nichols was known for her daring and original hairstyles that included everything from sleek and stylish bobs to voluminous curls and intricate braids. Her makeup style was equally iconic with bold lipstick shades, dramatic cat eye. If you're wondering about her beauty secrets and fitness routine, you're not alone. Although details are scarce because she didn't talk much about that stuff. Unlike my other videos, I do not have much beauty secrets for you guys and I would have loved to known because she aged so gracefully as you will see she just aged so beautifully and I wanted to know her secrets but nonetheless many fans speculate that her active lifestyle and love of dance played a significant role in keeping her youthful and fit throughout her career she was known for her impeccable posture stunning figure and radiant smile all of which are indications of her dedication to staying healthy and maintaining her natural beauty as for her hobbies and favorite things Nichelle Nichols was known for her love of music art and cultural exploration she was an accomplished singer and songwriter and her passion for music was evident in her performances both on stage and on screen. She was also an avid traveler and enjoyed exploring different parts of the world, immersing herself in new cultures and learning about the diverse experiences of people from all walks of life. Nichelle Nichols is a true icon who has left an incredible mark on the entertainment industry and beyond. Her incredible talent, beauty and grace have inspired countless women around the world and her tireless dedication to promoting diversity and inclusion is a testament to her profound impact on the world at large. Whether she was dazzling audiences with her stunning performances, pushing the boundaries of fashion and beauty, or exploring new cultures and experiences, Nichelle Nichols was an unparalleled force of nature that will always be remembered and celebrated as a true trailblazer. Now her favorite colors was red and yellow, so leave a red and yellow heart in the comments to show her some love for all that she has accomplished, okay? But let's get into her childhood real quick. Nichelle Nichols had a pretty interesting childhood growing up in Robbins, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago in the 1930s. She was the third of six children born to Samuel Earl Nichols, a factory worker and town mayor, and his wife, Licia Nichols, a homemaker. Nichelle wasn't happy with her given name and asked her parents for a new one. They offered Nichelle, telling her it meant victorious maiden. The name stuck and she went by Nichelle for the rest of her life. Nichelle attended Inglewood High School where 
she excelled academically, but it wasn't all books and studying for her. Starting at age 12, she also studied dance at the Chicago Ballet Academy, which helped her develop her love for the performing arts. Growing up, Nichelle had a happy childhood, but like any kid, there were some heartbreaks along the way. According to some sources, she lost her brother to pneumonia when she was just 16, one of her brothers, which was devastating for her and her family. But despite the tragedy, Nichelle continued to pursue her passion for dance and performing. Her family was incredibly supportive of her, and her mother even helped finance her dance lessons. Nichelle's family has said that she was always a natural performer, and it was clear from a young age that she was destined for greatness. They could be more proud of all her accomplishments, including her groundbreaking role as Lieutenant Yahura in the iconic sci-fi series Star Trek. Thanks to her talent, hard work, and the support of her family, Nichelle Nichols went from a small suburb of Chicago to become an international icon. Now, Nichols started her career as a singer and dancer in Chicago before touring the U.S. and Canada with Duke Ellington and Lionel Hampton's band. And in 1959, she was the principal dancer in the film Porgy and Bess. Her acting break came in 1961 with the musical Kicks and Co, which led to her performing at Hugh Hefner's Chicago Playboy Club. Nichols acted in productions of Carmen Jones and Porgy and Bess and did some modeling in January 1967. She appeared on the cover of Ebony magazine. She continued touring as a singer with Duke Ellington and Lionel Hampton's band. On the West Coast, Nichols performed in the War of the Grease Paint for My People and received praise for her role in Blues for Mr. Charlie before being cast as Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek. Nichols acted in productions of Carmen Jones and Porgy and Bess and did some modeling in January 1967. She appeared on the cover of Ebony Magazine. She continued touring as a singer with Duke Ellington and Lionel Hampton's band. On Star Trek, Nichols was one of the first black women featured in a major television series. Her prominent supporting role as a bridge officer was unprecedented. Nichols was once tempted to leave the series. However, a conversation with Martin Luther King changed her mind. Towards the end of her first season, Nichols was given the opportunity to take a role on Broadway and she was like, oh, what a big opportunity. I don't want to do this no more. She preferred the stage to the television studio, so she decided to take the role. Nichols went to Rodenberry's office and told him that she planned to leave and handed him her resignation. Rodenberry tried to convince Nichols to stay, but to no avail. So he told her to take the weekend off and if she still felt that she should leave, then he would give her his blessings. That weekend, Nichols attended a banquet that was being run by the NAACP where she was informed that a fan really wanted to meet her. I thought it was a Trekkie and so I said sure. I looked across the room and whoever the fan was had to wait because there was Dr. Martin Luther King walking towards me with his big grin on his face, she said. He reached out to me and said, yes, Miss Nichols, I'm your greatest fan. He said that Star Trek was the only show that he and his wife Coretta would allow their three little children to stay up and watch. She told King about her plans to leave the series because she wanted to take a role that was tied to Broadway. I never got to tell him why because he said, you cannot. You cannot, for the first time on television, we will be seen as we should be seen every day as intelligent, quality, beautiful people who can sing, dance, and can go to space, who are professors, lawyers, end quote. If you leave, the door can be closed because your role is not a black role and is not a female role. He can fill it with anybody, even an alien, end quote. Going so far as to favorably compare her work on this series to the marches of the ongoing civil rights movement. This response by King left Nichols speechless. And the next day, she went back to Rodenberry's office to tell him that she would stay. When she told Rodenberry what King had said, tears came to his eyes. Nichols asked Rodenberry for her role back, and Rodenberry took out her resignation letter, which he had already torn up. From NASA, astronaut Mae Jemsen has cited Nichols' role of Lieutenant Uhura as her inspiration for wanting to become an astronaut, and Whoopi Goldberg had also spoken of Nichols' influence on her life. In a thrilling and groundbreaking moment on Star Trek, Lieutenant Uhura, played by Nichols, locked lips with dashing Captain James T. Kirk, portrayed by white actor William Shatner. The electrifying kiss featured in the November 22, 1968 episode, Plato Stepchildren, has been held as one of the first interracial kisses on US television. Although there has been other interracial cases on screen before, their kiss was deemed the most groundbreaking because it was such a huge platform. I'm thinking of all the times on the Enterprise when I was scared to death. I would see you so busy at your command, and I would hear your voice from all parts of the ship, and my fears would fade, and now they're making me tremble. <laughs> 
but I'm not afraid. Although the passionate encounter was depicted as being forced by alien telekinesis, it hardly dampened the excitement surrounding this daring display of affection. Although Star Trek was canceled in 1969, the show's legacy endured and Nichols' involvement with the franchise continued. She reprised her role as Uhura in Star Trek, the animated series, even taking command of the Enterprise in the episode, The Lorelei Signal. She went on to co-star in six Star Trek films, concluding her journey with Star Trek, The Undiscovered Country. Nichols released two music albums, Down to Earth is a collection of standards released in 1967 during the original run of Star Trek, Out of This World released in 1991 is more rock oriented and is themed around Star Trek and space exploration. As Yohura, Nichols sang on the Star Trek episode Charlie X and the Conscious of the King, end quote. After Star Trek was canceled, Nichols volunteered to help NASA recruit more women and minorities. She connected NASA with a company she co-ran called Women in Motion. Nichols is passionate about space exploration and has served on the board of governors for the National Space Institute. In 2015, she flew on a NASA mission to study Mars and Saturn. Her work with NASA is highlighted in a documentary, Women in Motion, which focuses on her life and achievement. Now let's talk about her connection with the cult, right? So Thomas, her younger brother, joined the Heaven's Gate cult. Heaven's Gate cult members were required to let go of material things. They were banned from using substances, having intercourse, and eating fast food, among other things. Furthermore, they had to leave their families to live in a cult compound. The Heaven's Gate not only shunned intimacy, but some males in the group, including the aging leader, was castrated in apparent pursuit of their ideal of androgynous immortality. Their leader, Apple White, preached that when they left their containers, which is their bodies and entered heaven aboard a UFO, his followers would not need mouths to eat or noses to smell and would look like gray-skinned space aliens." End quote. And on March 26, 1997, he was one of the members, her brother, of the cult who committed mass S, you know, taking out their own lives, to coincide with the orbital passage of Comet Hal Boop. For the majority of his 20 years as a member, he promoted the cult by claiming to be Nichelle's brother. So he had a lot of popularity in the cult just for being Nichelle's brother, right? Nichols said on Larry King Live, he made his choices and we respect those choices, she told King, adding that she felt it ironic that they chose Hal Boop, this wonderful celestial event, as a trigger for the decision to die. The bodies, 21 women and 18 men were laid out in ritual fashion, arms at their sides, face and chest draped in diamond shaped purple shrouds. That's her bizarre connection and people tried to make a lot of conspiracies, but I'm not gonna go there with this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this alone because I really don't think she had anything to do with it. I think her brother really just went too far. But comment below your thoughts. Nichols also mentioned experiencing a brief tumultuous yet exhilarating relationship with Sammy Davis Jr. in 1959. Her first marriage was to dancer Foster Johnson in 1951, which lasted less than a year. Together, they had a son named Kyle Johnson, who was an actor also. Nicole's second marriage was to Duke Mondi in 1968, but the couple divorced in 1972, and he was this musician, you know, a really popular musician of his day. Nicole's unfortunately passed away of heart failure in Silver City, New Mexico on July 30th, 2022, at the age of 89. Her ashes are due to be sent into space alongside Majel Barrett's and Douglas Trumbull's. And wow, what a life she lived, right? Iconic for you to have the Martin Luther King Jr. tell you that you shouldn't quit. <laughs> Don't forget her favorite colors are yellow and red, so leave a yellow and red heart in the comment section. Also, don't be shy. Comment below who else would you guys like to see me do a breakdown for. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Mm -hmm.